Number 84. The chemical structure of inositol, formerly known as vitamin B8, is shown below. Draw a chair conformation of this molecule. So let's draw it this way. Now let's call this carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is going to be 1. I'm going to put 2 here and then 3, 4, 5, 6. So on carbon 1, we have the OH group. It's on the wedge. It's coming out of the page. So let's put the first group in the axial up position. Now on carbon 2, this second OH is on the wedge as well. So it's going to be going up. So this has to be equatorial up. There's only two options, equatorial up or axial down. And these two have to be on the same side. Either they're both up or both down. Now in carbon three, we have an OH going into the page. So that's gonna be going in the downward direction. So it's not gonna be axial up, but it has to be equatorial down. Now let's move on to carbon four. So this is out of the page, and that's going to be up, the same as that one. So either it's axial down or equatorial up. We're going to go with equatorial up. Now for carbon 5, it's down. It's going into the page. So it's either axial down or equatorial down. This is going to be equatorial down. Now this one is up, so either we have axial down or equatorial up. So this is going to be equatorial up. So notice that five of the six hydroxyl groups are in the equatorial position. So the chair conformation, this particular chair conformation, is relatively stable. Now if we were to take this OH and put it in this direction, all the other positions will be flipped. We would have five hydroxyl groups in the axial position rather than what we see here. So this particular chair conformation is more stable than the other one that we can draw. So that's the chair conformation for inositol, vitamin B8, or what used to be vitamin B8.